I am so super excited. I used what little bit of energy I had, and I could hardly even lift myself up. It's so pathetic. <sighs> yeah. Imagine. And I didn't have a little button to push to say, Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <sighs> I just prayed. So anyway, I went and I looked for this book. I knew I had it, but I hadn't been able to find it in a long time. And I went and looked two months ago about because I knew that this would be an issue and I wanted to get the truth out about what was really going on in the New Age movement and how they had taken over the near-death experience and how many people are really turning to Christ because they're finding out, whoa, wait, you mean hell's real? You remember the old man or the older man? He was on his dying bed. He was dying. And Jesus showed him heaven and Jesus showed him hell and he just started weeping. Because it was so horrible. And he's and he just, but right before he died, he, and this man was sincere. He was no new ager. Wasn't trying to gloss anything over. But he told everybody, he said, please don't go to that place. Don't go to that place. That's so horrible. And Jesus, you know, it wasn't long after he gave that testimony that the man died. And most people know what I'm talking about. They've seen it. But now I found this book to hell and back. It's pretty obscure now. But uh, this man's experience and how he started looking into the occult and how the, he realized what was going on and how they were taking over this and, and shifting it and glossing over all these hell experiences and using this. I mean, they're taking these near-death experiences and telling people to you go to the light. Just go to the light. It's safe. It's safe to go to the light. You know what, people? Wherever Jesus has something going on, the devil has something going on too. I would not watch the Netflix kind of stuff if I were you. I didn't even watch it because I already knew. But then you know what? I realize a lot of people don't know. So I'm so thankful to God that Jason A. put that video out and just put this in me. It's just like this has been a few months now. This has like been a bee in my bonnet wanting to find this book and to read it and to share it with people and it was so frustrating to me and it's amazing that jason a put that out and then i finally found it at, now i had looked for it before i just remembered the last time that i actually looked was probably a couple months ago but i've probably been looking for this book for about a year and i'm so excited about this i hope it blesses people i hope that we can put a little more truth to what's really going on from a doctor's point of view who continually was bringing people back to life, who was a cardiologist. I mean, that was part of his thing. People were coming back to life. I mean, this, come on. And he was there to experience what these people were really saying. He was right there and they were telling him what, what was being, what, what they were seeing, what was going on. And what he tells what was going on it ain't what the New Agers are putting out there on Netflix say was going on. Let me tell you something. It's a whole different story from what this cardiologist says and what devil Netflix says. So you can choose which side you're going to go on. But for whatever reason, this stuff is happening. And it happened and it was talked about in the Bible, too. About being in the third heaven. So the Bible does give an example of this happening. And if you don't believe, that's fine. Pick me apart. Tear me apart. But you know what? You, you can't take Jesus from me, though, can you? You can't stop the Lord from loving me. Because he does. How about that? God bless you all.